A Bloomington woman was told her husband would need to be in assisted living if he even survived a cardiac arrest. Today, though, that man is alive and well, and now thanking the first responders who helped. Good Monday evening. I'm Tyler Lopez. In our top story, Paige Blanzi is here in studio with the 53-year-old who's being called a miracle, Paige. Tyler, after 50 minutes of CPR and 15 shocks to his heart, Aaron Hornsby is being called a miracle. And now he's thanking dispatch and the Bloomington Fire Department as he says they're his heroes. I'm so grateful and just to have the opportunity to say thank you to these guys. On November 7th, Aaron Hornsby went into cardiac arrest. His wife, Christine, called 911 and was told to begin CPR. It was maybe a minute from the time he collapsed to the time I started compressions. After he was taken to the hospital, Christine was told her husband may not survive. And if he does, he'll live with health problems and need 24 hour care. I was prepared for identifying a body. After four hours of surgery, Aaron was sedated on an ice bath. He then surprised doctors and nurses after waking up two days later. They couldn't believe how much motion and mobility and functioning he had. It truly is a miracle that he is back to normal. Aaron learned two blocked arteries to his heart caused the cardiac arrest and went home eight days later. His family credits his survival to prayers, miracles, and the help from first responders. Starting from dispatch, um, going all the way down to our response and taking over the scene um, was fluent, um, quick, and professional. Adam Johnson was the lead paramedic that day. He says their equipment and training helped Aaron's outcome. While he appreciates the recognition, he says they're just doing their job. We are taught every month how to do these um, life-saving skills. Our education is always top-notch. Aaron finished cardiac rehab and got back to work last week. He wants people to be aware of signs and what to do if someone's heart stops beating. Every minute that passes, 10% uh, is lost on the ability to survive mm -hmm. a cardiac arrest. And so that's really important that the CPR starts. And according to the American Heart Association, 90% of people do not survive cardiac arrest. Head to our website for more information on CPR courses in the area. Tyler.